So Newman charged the machine gun position. He wounded two Germans and forced two other Germans to flee. At that point, three German soldiers rushed forward to another machine gun, gun position, but Newman killed two of them and forced the third to flee. Hello, I'm Dr. George Pressman. I serve as a historian here at the Camp Landing Museum. We're presenting a series of Camp Landing history videos, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, some men who uh, are particular heroes uh, and attained that status throughout, uh, through the, uh, during the Second World War. I like this quote from Calvin Coolidge, that the nation which forgets its defenders will itself be soon forgotten. Over 800,000 men trained here at Camp Landing. They're all heroes. Some of them obtained a particular fame. The first Sergeant Funk joined the Army in June of 1941, completed jump training. He then was assigned to Company C, 1st Battalion of the 508th Parachute Infantry Regiment, while it was stationed here at Camp Landing. Sergeant Funk jumped into Normandy, and then he jumped Market Garden to push up through the Netherlands, and he fought with the 82nd Airborne during the Battle of the Bulge. And so the particular action that we'll be talking about occurs just at the end of the Battle of the Bulge. So on the 29th of January, 1945, near Holsheim, Belgium, there was a fierce fierce snowstorm. And during that snowstorm, Sergeant Funk's company was attacking some German emplacements. The company executive officer was wounded, and Funk took command. Attacking into Holtheim, Funk and his men cleared 15 houses while continuing their attack in Holtheim. Funk encountered a group of more than 80 German soldiers, some of whom had previously been taken prisoner, but with the assistance of a German patrol had overcome their U.S. guards. In spite of being greatly outnumbered, Funk opened fire on the Germans and called for the U.S. soldiers who had been seized by the Germans to take the Germans' weapons away from them. The Germans were successfully recaptured. For this action, Sergeant Funk was awarded the Medal of Honor. The next man I would like to talk about is Staff Sergeant George J. Hall. Sergeant uh, Hall served with the 135th Infantry Regiment of the 34th Infantry Division. Staff Sergeant Hall trained at Camp Landing in the Infantry Replacement Training Center. On the 23rd of May, 1944, the 135th Infantry Regiment was on the Anzio, Italy beachhead. They were attacking across flat, open terrain, and Hall's company was pinned down by fire from three machine gun nests. Hall crawled forward through a furrow in a farm field and reached a point within hand grenade range of the first machine gun nest. He threw a hand grenade and destroyed the first, uh, the first of the uh, enemy uh, machine gun nests. He took four prisoners and sent them crawling back, not escorted, crawling back to the U.S. lines. He found a number of German potato masher grenades and began a grenade duel with the second machine gun nest. The Germans uh, in the second nest eventually surrendered and Sergeant Hall sent them crawling back to the U.S. line. Staff Sergeant Hall 
then began crawling towards the third machine gun nest. A martilli an artillery shell then hit Hall, severing his left leg. His company, though, was able to flank the third machine gun nest and eliminate it. Staff Sergeant Hall was evacuated to the U.S., but sadly, he died of his wounds in 1946. For his action on the Anzio Beachhead, Staff Sergeant Hall was awarded the Medal of Honor. Next, I'd like to, to talk about uh, Sergeant Charles E. Commando Kelly. Sergeant uh, Kelly served in Company L, 143rd Infantry Regiment, the 36th Infantry Division. Sergeant Kelly had trained at Camp Landing with the 36th Infantry Division. On the 13th of September, 1943, the 143rd Infantry was near Altavilla, Italy. Corporal Kelly volunteered to join a patrol which located and eliminated several German machine gun positions. Kelly then volunteered to establish contact with a battalion of U.S. infantry believed to be located on an adjacent hill. He moved under heavy enemy mortar fire, only to discover the hill was not occupied by U.S. troops, but it was occupied by German troops. Upon his return, Kelly again participated in the destruction of two more machine gun nests and then went to an ammunition dump for more ammunition. He found the dump under fierce German attack. Securing more ammunition, Kelly stayed, protected the dump throughout the night. The Germans resumed their attack at daylight and Kelly fired two BARs so heavily that they locked from overheating. Kelly then took the safety pins from 60 millimeter mortar rounds and used them as grenades. Kelly then crawled, uh, covered the withdrawal of other soldiers before withdrawing himself. For his action, Sergeant Kelly earned the nickname Commando and was awarded the Medal of Honor. Another Medal of Honor recipient, Captain Beryl Richard Newman. Captain Newman served in F Company, 133rd Infantry Regiment, the 34th Infantry Division. Captain Newman joined the Army in the mid-1930s and was assigned to the 34th Division. On the 26th of May, 1944, near Cisterna, Italy, Newman's platoon approached the German machine gun emplacement on the Anzio Natuno defensive line. Scouting ahead of his uh, platoon, Newman spotted the German position. He brought forward one of his machine gun teams, but they were unable to suppress the German fire. So Newman charged the machine gun position. He wounded two Germans and forced two other Germans to flee. At that point, three German soldiers rushed forward to another machine gun, gun position, but Newman killed two of them and forced the third to flee. Newman's platoon took 11 prisoners, while Newman himself destroyed three machine gun emplacements. Newman was seriously wounded on the 4th of June, 1944, and returned to the U.S. for recovery. After his recovery, Newman was assigned to the Camp Landing Infantry Replacement Training Center. For his actions on the 26th of May, 1944, Captain Newman was awarded the Medal of Honor. Next, I'd like to talk about First Lieutenant Carlos C. Ogden. Lieutenant Ogden served in Company K of the 314th Infantry Regiment, 79th Infantry Division. Lieutenant Ogden joined the Army in 1941, was assigned to Company K, the 314th Infantry of the 79th Division, and trained at Camp Landing with the 79th. 
On the morning of the 25th of June, 1944, near Fort du Rolle, Ogden's company was guarding the approaches to Cherbourg, France. The company was pinned down by German machine gun fire and fire from an 88 millimeter gun. Under fire, Lieutenant Ogden took a Garand rifle and a grenade launcher and armed himself with rifle and hand grenades. Advanced alone up, alone up a slope toward the German emplacements. Although he was hit in the head by a machine gun round, Ogden continued up the slope. He took out the 88 millimeter gun with a rifle grenade, but was wounded for a second time in his arm. He followed on, however, taking out two machine gun positions using hand grenades. While he, where he was wounded, a third time. Before the war was over, Ogden has wounded two more times for a total of five of Purple Heart and four clusters. Colonel Ogden, uh, I'm sorry, First Lieutenant Ogden, for his actions on the 25th of June, was awarded the Medal of Honor. I appreciate your watching this, uh, this Camp Landing history video and I invite you to do two things. The first is, please come visit with us. We're open every day from noon to four, and we would especially welcome your visit. There are lots and lots of stories, and our wonderful volunteers who are more than happy to share those stories with you. The second thing I want to encourage you to do is to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe and view all of the videos that are available on our channel. So for our staff and our terrific volunteers at the Camp Landing Museum, this is Dr. George Kressman signing off.